forgot how much. Wait, is this playlist looping? I don't think I have it set to loop. Maybe I do. Because I'm all. I feel like we've listened to Undertale for quite a while. Uh. Oh, I guess we're at the end. Okay. Just like curious about it. Also, uh, do you have questions about things like techniques and stuff? Because this shit's gonna look fire when it's done. Um, go ahead and ask those, because I can answer specific questions or explain what I'm doing if people are interested in knowing about that. Because um, I sure as hell would have liked to know how to do something like this when I was starting out. <laughs> or at least what's going on. Yeah, that's the reaction I was looking for. How? Oh, what? So, um, first, well, um, you don't even need a fancy brush to do this particular thing that I'm doing. But, um, there's this is a brush right here. Um, I think I got this from Mr. Jack on DeviantArt's paintbrush box. And it's pretty much the greatest brush ever invented because you can see that it's got like a soft and a hard edge to it. So, um, it's the best for shading and because uh, for a while I was frustrated because I was like how do they do that and then I realized that it was just like um, carving stuff like you can see because it has a soft and a hard edge that it's really great because um, what that does and what that means is that for example like you can see like this it almost looks like perfectly shaded in one stroke and so what it does for you is that it gives you natural shading in, in a certain way because Basically, good shading and good painting de depends on having soft edges and hard edges. Or something that artists like to call edge control. So that's why that's great. But then this other technique that I'm doing right now is that I'm taking this brush in particular, but you can just use default Photoshop brushes, like this soft one, to do the same thing. It's just that the other one is just what I use for everything now because I love it so much. Like, see, so you, can, you can pretty much do the same thing. But you have to make sure that you're at the edge because it doesn't have that fall off like the other one does. Obviously, you can see I prefer the the other one because it works even better. Yeah. So, uh, and you can see I painted on a dark base too, so all the light shit automatically shades itself. So it's just like efficiency. And I freaking love it. Uh, I might need to get more detailed in here, but basically, yeah. And then, of course, you can go and, and paint more individual things, but it just saves you so much time, and it looks so good. So it's, like, the best! Um, and I'm just really glad that I found out about it, or finally figured it out, because I had learned a lot of other things in Photoshop, and finally realized that, holy shit, there could be, like, really nice tools that I'm not using. You can do it the other way too with um, shading, like this way. Might uh, soften that up, but basically the same thing. Oh wait, I need to pull it the other way. There we go. Um, the way that this brush works is that um, depending on what direction you pull it, it'll put that hard edge on one side or the other based on my initial stroke direction. So it is the greatest and I love it. 
love this. Yeah, I am so happy that I found this brush. Um, let me go get the dude, because if you guys wanted to use it, it's totally good. There, Mr. Jack, deviant hot. And this guy is, uh, I like this guy's work a lot. He works for Blizzard, mostly, I think. He just pretty much exclusively works for Blizzard. So, as you can see, this brush set right here, that, um, how do I pass this to my other self? Uh, fine. I'm gonna go to my own stream really quickly. One sec. I'm just gonna dump this in here really quick because I don't feel like looking this up on my other computer. Just one second. There you go. Oh cool, it, it, I didn't even need to mute it because <laughs> it wasn't playing. Alright, anyway, so there you go. Um, the friggin' best thing you can do for yourself. Um, I forget what they called it, but it's pretty distinctive because you'll be able to tell because it's this one that's like doesn't look like all the other ones. And uh, actually... Now that we're talking about brushes. So here you can see my brush library and it might look like there's a lot or something, but let me show you, um, let's go to the preset manager. There we go. This is how many brushes I have. See how few there are? <laughs> and I don't use like half of them. Like I use the top row the most and that's about it. Uh, so another thing that I recommend for people that are just getting started in digital art especially or whatever or want to work efficiently is to, to get rid of a lot of default brushes basically and just clear it out to the ones that you're going to be using the most often because usually that number is under a hundred and Photoshop comes with way too many brushes. So, and um, oh yeah, um, I have... Yeah, there's like a, a couple different things that I have, but my favorites are, are definitely all right here up at the tippy top, of course. Uh, there's this one that I use for texture all the time because um, I like it. It's like this. It makes things look grainy or like bread or skin or whatever, so that's why I like it so much. And then um, I also have like some debris brushes for like fire and effects and spray brushes and stuff like that. But I was probably using this one because it works so well. But I have a couple other noisy brushes too. But that one definitely I use disproportionately compared to the others. So much. But this one is now my new baby baby favorite. The only thing it's not good for is sketching, so that's what the rest are for. Or if I want something that is soft on all sides, that's what those other airbrushes are for. But yeah, usually I just want this. <laughs> And uh, sometime it might get replaced with like an even more specialized brush or something, but uh, for now this works just great. Yeah, and you saw that that took like no time at all, so it's just crazy good. Oh, this ended up on top somehow for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, and. Usually I go smooth things out too, but um, because sometimes too much detail for me is just like eh. So I paint out a lot too. But yeah, uh, pretty much the greatest thing. But yeah, the um. The friggin' select tool and stuff is really good. Like, I don't know if people realize that it's important to, like, use a lot- like, Photoshop has a lot of tools, so it's intimidating, but it's like, if you learn them a piece at a time, it really works out. Or like, when- knowing when to use Photoshop tools is a big challenge. Because that's discretion, and that can't be taught. <laughs> Or that you have to learn that over time. Like, there's no fast way to learn discretion. As far as Photoshop tools. So it's just like... Eh, so you just gotta go for it sometimes. And the good thing about Photoshop is that there's always an undo button. For the most, most of the time. So, uh... It really... 
it uh, is really good to just try things and see what happens.